Hi, and today on Switch It Up, we are joined by Emma Passand from Lima Health. Emma, it's really great to have you on board for the Switch It Up campaign. Um, I love the name Lima Health. Can you tell us a little bit about the origin of it and what it is you do, please? So Lima Health is named after the animal Lima. And um, years and years and years ago, um, I, work, I used to work in occupational health and wellbeing. I'm a qualified nurse. And I was trying to convince the company I was putting a business case together um, of investing in a well-being strategy. And I was watching uh, David Attenborough um, on the Lima colonies at the same time, and I'm just writing away. And it became apparent that these lemurs were inclusive and altruistic, and they are very rare for an animal to be to, to act like this. They will look after others that are not related for, to them for the goodness and the safety and the productivity of the colony and I thought oh that's what well-being is isn't it you know and that's what occupational health and well-being is about looking after the employees for productivity and for their own mental health so Lima Health was born. Oh that's fantastic and you've got an arm that focuses specifically on women's health called um, working with the menopause haven't you could you tell us about the work that you do in that? Please. Yeah, so working with the menopause. So um, Lima Health is about an inclusive health and well-being strategy. But what was becoming apparent was um, the, the, the demographics of the workforce, uh, the fastest growing demographics was women of midlife. And of course, that's when they go through the menopause transition. And it became apparent to healthcare professionals and women and businesses that this is an area that wasn't explored or wasn't addressed or there was limited education. Um, it is changing now with events coming up and the world is, you know, moving into the 21st century. So I started off and I trained in, in uh, menopause under the British Menopause Society. And I have, I see women and I educate women um, for their own health. But I also, being occupational health, we look at duty of care and the Equality Act and managing um, somebody with having symptoms of sexual health it's not just menopause it's the mm. whole life course of a woman but menopause is the key great so I'm really excited that you're going to come and talk um, at our event in October both mm. on the kind of helping educate women but also on on the, the duty of care within the workplace as well so really looking forward to it thank you so much for being on board and we will speak to you again in October